Springbok Nation, the suspense is over and the lineup for our Rugby World Cup quarterfinal against France is out. Let's break down the key selections and strategies. Jacques Nienaber has made some intriguing choices, opting for experience to face Les Bleus. Our match day 23 is the second most capped in South African history. Duane Vermoylen at number 8 and the triumphant 2019 loose trio are back in action. Now let's talk bench strategy. The bench setup is more traditional, with five forwards and three backline replacements. The debate between Manny Libok and Andre Pollard for the fly half spot is settled, with Manny getting the nod. If it's 8 2, 7 1, 6 2, 5 3, it falls under team selection, Ninaber explained. We have selected a team, irrespective of the bench, that we think will give us the best opportunity of a victory on Sunday. If we select Cobus or Faf, I don't think there would be a lot of raised eyebrows. France have got a very interesting kicking game, and we feel using those two guys will give us the best opportunity. For this specific game, we feel Dwayne is the guy we will need, but that doesn't mean Jasper won't play in the semi-final. It is based on what we feel we need to get a victory on Sunday. The box boss explained that combinations and form were deciding factors when selecting the halfbacks and added that the team performs best with Libak at fly half. If you look at a guy like Kobus, he is playing exceptional rugby, and Faf, for that matter, it's the same with Maney, he said. Andre is a bit different when you look at the cumulative number of minutes he has played for us this year. It is probably one game altogether, so he is slowly building up his minutes, and Maney is probably our inform fly half. I think we have lost one game this year when he has started at 10. The team performs when he starts at 10. It is as simple as that. The big thing was Andre being out for 19 or 20 weeks before the World Cup. That was unfortunate, he said. If he hadn't got injured, we might have looked at it a bit differently, and he probably would have been in the squad from the start, because he's a quality rugby player. With Mani, if you look at the way he drives the team, he is obviously on form. The difference in the games he has started for us at 10, I think it is like four tries to one, so we score points with Mani at 10. But just looking at what the French will bring, we feel this is the best option for us. What are your thoughts on the lineup? Are you excited about these strategic choices? Drop your cheers and predictions below. Smash that like button if you're ready to back our boys in green and gold. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And let's rally the Springbok pride.